<clears throat> yeah, we were dancing. Dancing with our hands tied, hands tied. Yeah, we were dancing. Like it was our first time, first time. What's up? Hoppy Easter, everyone. We were dancing. We are back for more buffoonery shenanigans, giggles, laughs, chuckles. And I hope you're ready. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Hi, Neptunian babe. Hi, Bayheart. Jasmine, hello. Happy Easter to you. Little gay Beal, thank you for starting off the stream with some little gay bits. We love those little gay bits. They're just like all the other bits, you know? They should be treated as such, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh. The cake is amazing. Thank you for asking. Hi, Mushroom. Goofs and gaffs are in store tonight. Well, I'm glad that you asked. So do y'all remember for like a hot minute, I was doing, I don't even know if you would call them retro reacts, but we were doing those like reacts to that channel, um, Salty Crab. Do you hear that helicopter behind me? Or maybe it's a plane, I don't know. Um, and then Amber Lynn went and got that channel demonetized. Y'all remember Salty Crab? I really like Salty Crab. I think that they make fun videos. I think that they're transformative. I don't understand why they got demonetized in the first place. But seemingly, they have gotten their monetization back. And it looks like they're kicking ass and pulling hair. I mean, really, look at this. Look at these views. 25,000, 20, 29,000, 30,000. Look at some of these views on Salty Crab. So Salty Crab is back with a vengeance. 13,000 subscribers. I remember when they had under 1,000. Love Salty Crab. I think they make fun videos. And I was thinking that we could watch some of them. Because we have not checked in with our old pal Salty Crab in a hot minute. It looks like they pump out the content, too. I mean, look at all this. Look at all this. Boy. Hi, Alexandra. Hey, Lori. You stopped watching your favorite paranormal investigators. It takes a lot to get me to shut them off. <gasps> well, I really appreciate that, Jordy's camera. Speaking of which, and I hate to jinx it because I know as soon as this comes out of my mouth, it's going to backfire. Um, have y'all noticed that I haven't been freezing that much lately? Like, it, it just, like, quit doing it. You know? It, it just, like, I, I mean, I'm not saying it never happens, but it's seldom. It's, it's maybe once a stream, if that now. I'm not sure what changed, but I mean, there were some times when we would come on here and I mean, it was just like constantly like, oh God, go on, got to refresh. Go to, uh. It's like good now, I think. But I know as soon as that came out of my mouth, it's going to go back to freezing all the time. <laughs> oh, I'm here faster than you can say coffee. Did they put up anything? Are they, are they still at the water park? Let me look. I haven't looked at her channel. I saw that she put up something and it was like celebrating 10 million subscribers across all platforms, which like isn't something that people usually celebrate because a lot of, you see, like a lot of the same people that subscribe to you on YouTube are the same people that follow you on Instagram, are the same people that follow you on TikTok, are the same people that like your Facebook page. Like, it's not a unique person. <laughs> I mean, like, my YouTube channel, like, what is it, like, 56,000 subscribers? That would be like if I said, 
I have 70,000 plus subscribers across all YouTube platforms, but like, I'm pretty sure a majority of the people that are subscribed to my other YouTube channel are subscribed to this channel. So it's the same person. <laughs> Celebrating 10 million subscribers across all platforms. Um, okay. Did she, okay. Yeah, yeah, here it is. Here it is. Here. I'm, I'm... Thank you. Thank you guys so much for 20 followers. Thank you. Oh no. She even got Jash to be a part of this. All right, everyone. When I back up, you're all going to jump up in the air and throw your hands up. Thank you guys so much for 20 followers. Thank you. Zoe does not give one shit. She literally could not give less of a shit. I stand, Zoe. Um, as you all know, I'm a diehard Bree stan, but I see a Zoe supremacy rising. I really do. <laughs> do it right. Do it right this time. <laughs> oh my god. I don't see Jordan. I just see I just see Jason. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where's Jordan? Ooh, gonna get reprimanded for not taking part in this. I don't know, I mean, maybe he's out of the frame? Thank you guys so much for 20... I I'm so sorry for playing this a third time. I know that this is kind of cringe. 20 but... followers. Oh, no, okay. He was hiding in the back. Thank you. Th I think that's him in the red jacket. That's weird, though, that he just, like, m disappears from the the scene. <sighs> Did they put up any uh, water park content? I'm thinking if she puts up... <clears throat> oh, jeez. I'm thinking if she puts up any water park content, we'll do that tomorrow night. I'm still not sure if we're going to get a grocery haul tomorrow. Um, Maybe? Maybe a grocery haul? Sunday fun day... At Splash Indoor Water Park. Okay, but it's only a minute long. All right, it's a minute long. Let's watch it real quick. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> a man who definitely does not regret his life choices. <laughs> Splash Indoor Water Park? I thought it was Great Lodge. Or the Great Wolf Lodge or whatever. So what is what is this? Did she just say that to throw me off so I wouldn't show up? What's, what's this about? So is she a liar? Is it an indoor water park? Yeah. It's an indoor water park. Um... The cat's damn meow. Thank you so much for the bits. I really appreciate those. Mina Ivy Honeyblood. Thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate you doing that. Hippity hoppity Easter to all. Well, if no one wished you a hippity hoppity Easter today, just know that Mina Ivy Honeyblood has now wished you all a hippity hoppity Easter. We really appreciate that, Mina. Thank you so much. All right. Fun day, fun day. With our 11 kids at Splash Indoor Water Park in Oswego, New York. We spent the day on water slides. Okay. Um, first thought, basic. This is really basic. Uh, I've seen indoor water parks. Th th this is like, no. I mean, like, honestly... This would maybe appeal to Harley, Bodie, Dash, Jordan, and Jason. The six other kids who are a little bit older. Th this is not. This isn't a water park. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't classify this as a water park. <laughs> oh come on, my ass! This is not an indoor water park. This is like one pool and. Three slides. 
We spent the day on water slides. I always wanted to wear a shirt to water parks growing up because I wasn't the thinnest kid, but then, I don't know, I feel like it kind of defeated the purpose because I feel like you, I don't know, like, this is just the way I thought at the time. It's like you draw more attention to yourself by wearing a shirt at a water park than if you just walk around looking fat. That's just how I thought back then, but yeah. Plus, there's an area that the littler kids and I could play at. <laughs> Featuring... No, she went down the slide. <gasps> I thought that this was Zoe for a second. It's her. No. <laughs> no, Alicia went down the slide. Oh, my God. Play at... <laughs> Featuring a giant bucket of water that dumps right over you. The kids loved the basketball area and the obstacle course. And oh, bitch. I was good at this when I was little. When you hold on to the little net and walk across these pads. I was good at this. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. You wouldn't think it's hard. It is. You have to, like the upper body strength and the balance. Yeah, this shit can be, dif this shit can be difficult. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Yuki! Thank you for the bits. Really appreciate you doing that. Happy Easter, Jordy. Hope you've been enjoying your day and evening. It's going well. It's going even better now that you're here, Yuki. Thank you so much. Heart hand to you. What a brave soul. <laughs> oh, my God. And they loved lounging in the hot tub. Once we were done there, we got to meet the Easter Bunny and his friend Waddles the Duck. Okay, are they like the only ones in this water park? Did y'all notice that? There's like no one else in this. Like there's a lifeguard. Entire pool empty. Entire little structure, whatever that you call this playground thing, empty. Just the three of them. No one on the slides except that. I mean... Okay... Oh, look, it's the duck from our cake. Mr. Bunny and his friend Waddles the duck. And then we headed to the arcade. Oh, man. We had to play. Ew. Every time I see these in public, I just cringe because you know, oh, you know that no one's wiping these down. And every little kid that gets on this, you know, and like the grubby, sticky hands putting it up against their face. Oh, hell no. No, 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 no. This little VR shit. Uh-uh. I barely want to touch the handle, let alone put a mask to my face. We had to play our favorites, skee-ball and the claw game. And check out this fancy prize hub where you cash in your tickets after we had fun. Oh, so there's like... No need to have a human at all. So like normally when you would go up to a counter and you would say, this is how many tickets I have. What can I get? And they would go, oh, you can get this for a hundred, this for a thousand, this is for a robot does it now. Cool. I love the future. Prize hub where you cash in your tickets after we had fully worked up an appetite. Whoa, they got their own sign. Oh, shit. I mean, someone spent some time on this. Welcome, Doherty Dozen. Did they make a reservation? That's a good question, Mary. I wonder if they reserved this whole thing just for them. If she did, if she did somehow get a reservation for just the family, she probably filmed a lot because... There's no, there's no like other people around to be like, why are you filming? It's just her, you know? I would not be surprised if she does like a full water park vlog. Was it sponsored? Mm. Ah. I don't know. I mean, she has 10 million followers across all platforms now. 
Is it an ad? I mean, she's not really advertising it that much. She just says the name of the water park. Like, I feel like she would do this anyway, you know? Like, ad or no ad. It has to be sponsored. This this is fishy, though, how they got the Welcome Doherty Dozen, and, like, they got Waddles the Duck and the Easter Bunny and all that shit. I mean, they really went all out. Fully worked up an appetite, we grabbed some pizza and slush puppies from the Splash Bar and Grill. And last, the kids had some Easter money from Nana that they- Oh, my God. Why is she flexing? This is from the bikini box video. Remember when she took out like a wad of Benjamins and she was putting them in the little eggs and she was like, this can be their spending money when we go away this weekend. So they get more spending money. Oh, but this is Nana and Papa spending money. Okay. All right. I mean, how much spending money does one kid need at a water park? <laughs> I mean, I know those arcades aren't cheap, but geez. Easter money from Nana. Yeah, e Easter money? Like, I... I, I, <laughs> I just remember getting chocolate. Like, uh... The chocolate coins, uh, a chocolate rabbit, peeps. Just candy. It, 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 Easter money? <laughs> I don't know. Do we have Flag Day money, too? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Earth Day money? <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, Grace, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate that. What is your favorite Amberverse moment? Mine is when Amber says, we're on our way to work, and Destiny says, no, we're on our way to McDonald's. <laughs> well, it's just the Destiny era alone. One of my favorite moments from back then was, Amber was talking in the car, filming herself. And she was giving a whole spiel about how you don't have to wear a seatbelt in Florida. She was like, well, because at the time, Amber couldn't fit the seatbelt across her. So she was coming up with this big, long story and fake like reasoning as to why she didn't have to wear a seatbelt. But it was just because she couldn't fit it over her. But her version of the story was, no, 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 you just don't have to wear a seatbelt in Florida. It's like one of the only states that you don't have to wear a seatbelt in. <laughs> and Destiny goes, you can't say that. That's not true. <laughs> uh, guilty Easter was like a mini Christmas. Ah, I just remember getting candy. Yeah. My mom and grandma would always give me like five to ten dollars and an egg. So, I mean, like, I guess like what I'm saying is like you, you weren't getting a wad of money, right? <laughs> I mean, five, ten dollar. Jesus died for your sins. Here's three hundred dollars. I mean, it's it's kind of. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't whatever. I mean, it's, yeah, but I'm just not used to it or familiar with that. Candy and coins and eggs. Oh. It's a Bitcoin basket. Getting my 11 kids crypto wallets for Easter. <laughs> oh my God. I got James a hundred Solana. And I got Harley her own pie coin. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, is this over? From Nana that they got to spend at the gift shop on souvenirs. That's it for today. Oh, they had like employees come out too and take pics. Did they wear their Crocs? They did. Deshaun didn't. Zoe didn't. Rebel. See you next time. <laughs> See you next time. Was that it? Videos. Shorts. Girl, you guys want to watch girls? Nah, we're not watching. I was about to say girls day for nails. This, nah, I'm not, we're not doing that. Uh, all right, let's move on to the main entree. We have gobbled up our appetizer. So I'm hungry for more. 
and something tells me that Amber Lynn can assuage my hang my anger. Oh, anger? Hunger? Anger? Hanger? Hmm. Uh, the cat's damn meow. Holy cow. Lots of bits. Bits, bits, all the bits. Thank you so much for the bits. When I was seven, I got a basket of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on VHS. Chamber of Secrets. That's the second one, right? That's when they like go down into the basement and fight that big snake. <laughs> uh, no more diabetic dozen. For now. For now. All right, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Which one looks fun? Salty Crab's favorite moments? That seems like a pretty generic one. We could we could do that. Episode four. Should we start with episode one? Birthdays in the Amberverse. Shop with me. How Netflix turned this 500 pound girl into a vegan. <laughs> that title, oh my God. Uh, well, where's part one of what, what was it most? Or Salty Crab's favorite moments. Yeah, 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 that. That's what it's called. Amberlynn Reed and Friends, Taste Test, Shop With Me. Well, damn, if part four is all the way up there and I have to scroll all the way down for part three or two, I mean, I might have passed already without realizing it. Oh, she has an episode on Raft. Uh, we love Raft, don't we? Amber Lynn exercising and working out. Uh, I want to see the favorite moments thing. Did I really scroll past parts one, two, three, and four without realizing? Did anyone else see them? Because, like, it, it says Salty Crab's favorite moments, episode four, but I never saw episode three, two, or one. Hmm. Rafe is cringe. I forgot who Raft is. Raft was a season four side character. Check the playlists. Good idea. Oh my God. Oh, this is so neatly organized. Look at all this. Oh, I love this. Should I do this with my videos? Wow. Oh my gosh. Look how neat and, neat and pretty this all looks. Well, where's episode one? There's just two, three, and four. See, I knew I wasn't crazy. One unavailable video is hidden. Oh, video one must have been one that got demonetized. Jordy discovers playlists. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. I'll make a pl I would. I'd make a play. That looks good. I like it. Do all do all people do that? <laughs> all right uh we'll start with this favorite moments episode two i'm gonna turn on my fan just because like it's a thousand degrees in here y'all i don't know what we're gonna do come summer i mean i really don't know what we're gonna do come summer i mean get used to watching me sweat on here i guess after you you get more i think that's why every time which is like why i probably am so fat Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we're doing Salty Crab's Favorite Moments, Episode 2. And next up on the list is a video from Vlogmas 2017. 
Hey guys. Hey guys. Okay, so we're doing a mukbang together. This is Becky's first mukbang. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I'm just gonna eat. Yeah, and talk, I guess. Okay, so the reason why I picked this video is because... Oh, uh, I don't know if I wanted, like, commentary. I kind of, like, I wanted to be the commentary. I didn't realize this was commentary. Yeah, this is just one video. This is just one video, and then she, she pauses it every so often and talks. Does, does she do that for I everyone? Really Oh, I kind of was expecting like a compilation. Are all her videos like this? Uh, compilation. It's balsamic vinaigrette. Balsamic. balsamic. <laughs> balsamic. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we're gonna watch a few of the t I decided to have Subway, so that's that. Who's being salty now? <laughs> you know what though? You know what I think happened? A lot, there used to be a lot of these kind of channels. Like what I was expecting when we first came on here and I was expecting the compilation videos and everything. Um, there used to be a lot of these kind of channels. And then Amber Lynn got a lot of them demonetized. Uh, specifically one that sticks out to me is there's a video, there's a channel on here called Positive PR. And Positive PR's content was just like, hours and hours and hours of just Amber Lynn's footage with very little transformation. And I've noticed over the past few months that now positive PR shows their face. They come on here, they do live streams and everything. So I think that a lot of these channels that were just doing compilations and stuff like that, um, they got flagged or whatever. So, I mean, like, that's good for Salty Crab. It's just not necessarily what I'm looking for. I just, you know what? Let me just Google like, or I mean, let me just search like Amberlynn Reed moments. We'll just watch something like that. I mean, it's all the same dumb shit. Hello, it's ready. Oh, I remember Hello, it's rally, rally. Hell, so this is this is like the exact thing. I'm, this is like the exact same thing I'm talking about. Amberlynn would get these channels that had like less than ten thousand subscribers taken down because all of these would just be like compilation videos. I rem Hello, it's ready. I remember they wanted to bounce back and they wanted to make videos again. And um, I talked to this person briefly on Instagram and like I was like trying to like help them and they were trying to work with like apathetic facts because like the first person that this ever happened to in the community was apathetic facts. Amberlynn got them demonetized and the bottle is perfect for what you're looking for. Bottle does memes. Okay, well, I can, I can, is it just bottle Amberlynn? Bottle. I mean, I've heard of bottle. I don't, I don't mean, I don't mean to be like, who, who? Like, I've heard of bottle. I just. Amberlynn Reed takes Twinkie to the vet. Let's like go far down on bottle stuff because like season five was boring as hell. So I would love to watch, um, like, back when the show was actually kind of interesting. Oh my god, I remember when they did this. Amber Lynn went to a Goodwill that was closed and just put all of her shit outside the, for the entrance. Here's my donation. She just put like bags of garbage right outside the door. 
Oh my God. Tisha Gordon, thank you so much for the super chat. Jordy, it's me and my partner's 20 year anniversary. Can you please show us some love? Your lives are everything. Heart hands to you. Oh my God. Tisha Gordon and her partner are celebrating 20 years of marriage. That is an accomplishment. You should be very, very proud of that. A lot of people do not make that milestone. So definitely a big heart hand to you and your partner, Tisha. Thank you so much for being in attendance with me tonight. So happy for you. Wow. 20 years. My, 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 my. Jordy, when did you first become aware of Amber Lynn and get interested in the content? Um, Like right before she and Becky broke up. Like, literally right before she and Becky broke up. Summer of 2021. Yes, congratulations to you. Holy moly. Amarillo showing off new bra. Ooh, new bra. That's exciting. Stop money shaming. I want to watch like old stuff, like Becky stuff. Cause like season five sucked. I honestly, can you all think of anything like in the last two years that happened with her? That was funny. I mean like her, her yelling about the cake that someone sent her was kind of funny last April. I, I like I I really can't think of anything that was like iconic. Like oh yeah, let's go back to when she was dating Jade and watch that. Like it just it the limit does not exist. Amber Lynn Reed is in a relationship and giving out advice. Amber Lynn's in love with Eric. Now remember y'all. I remind Amber Lynn of Eric. She said that, remember? Well, she said a certain someone, but, you know, we know Amber Lynn only had, like, three friends at the time. So, by process of elimination, I mean, I couldn't be Becky and I couldn't be Ricky, so this is who I remind her of. Mmm, interesting. Trying to divert attention by telling us that she shit herself was pretty funny. Oh, yeah, she pooped herself. But we don't know if that happened. That could have been a lie for all we know. You know? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. The crying over the chips ahoy. Yeah, 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 yeah. The the one TikTok she has of like tears running down her face as she's eating a cookie. That, we okay, all right, all right. There were a couple, a couple moments. Very few, very few. Subscribe for more videos. <laughs> so I'm just here to start my vlog. My second weekly vlog. Let's do this. So I'm stepping on the scale. 517.2. But then when I pick this up, 518. So this weighs like 0.8 of a pound. I was about to say, she's probably going to deduct the weight of the thing that she's holding. Well, this weighs a pound, so we're going to subtract that. <laughs> Time for Twinkies morning walk. Oh, it's such a good goo. Such a good goo. Put your right paw in, put your left paw out. <laughs> this paw goes here. This goes like this. Oh, clip. Ready to go. Okay, well, the harness is upside down. The retractable leash is, like, going through Twinkie's backside. This this is just a shit show. The paws go through each of these little circles. So it's upside down. The retractable leash is tangled through her legs. Now 
it's time for her food. Here you go, little foodsies. And after she eats, I always give her a treat. Somebody give her one of these oinky. Well, honestly, though, I think an upside down harness is probably still better than Amberlynn yanking Twinkie by the neck. Because for a while, she was just yanking her by the neck. Bay jerky bites. Hello, welcome to Amberlynn's closet. I'm supposed to be switching closets. I still haven't done that yet. I'm still like totally in the beginning stages of that. But anyways. What song is this? It's like Britney Spears. Is it, is it Britney Spears that... Every time I see you in my dreams. Is that what's playing in the background? That I'm actually packing to stay the weekend with Eric and Ricky. So also got to have some cute little underwear moments. So we're going to go with these and maybe some ghosts. <laughs> Why not? Then like finding certain guys like attractive or whatever. And um, like I have a crush on Eric. <laughs> Did you just announce that wifey and you were gonna have a threesome with a dude? <laughs> Did I? Um, honestly, it's kind of hard in a way. I feel kind of guilty, but I'm ready for the D. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to tell Eric about that. And if you guys are wondering what's in my mouth, oh. whipping it out plus doing it in the butt equals not a <laughs> reciprocating oral sex. Um, I'm gonna go with the doing it in the butt one. Woo! I knew it! Show the winner! Show the winner. We're not just sitting at home, doing nothing all day, and just coloring and huffing, you know, permanent marker. So green! All the greens. I'm green. <laughs> okay. Look at that. I think that during this time, when they all live together, the only one that worked was Ricky. R I mean, yes, Amber Lynn had an income, but Ricky would get up in the morning, go to work, come home, and everyone would just be coloring and playing in the living room on, like, their iPads or whatever. And then, I mean, he would come home from work and then have to, like, clean, cook, mow the grass. <laughs> While Becky, Amber Lynn, and Eric just kind of colored in the living room. <laughs> I mean, did did Eric never work? Wrote some songs about Ricky. Alyssa B, thank you so much for that. Hope you and David are doing well this evening. Bodie doesn't like strawberries. No, he does not. He doesn't. That's one thing I know for sure. He does not like strawberries. Uh, Spunky Trunks, thank you so much for becoming a member on the channel. Happy to have you, Spunky Trunks. Those trunks are awfully spunky, if I do say so myself. Adult children. When they lived in gay care. Were Eric and Ricky married at the time? So, I mean, like, if Ricky worked, I mean, was Eric able to get Ricky's health insurance? Or were they just boyfriends? They worked Ricky like a slave. Yeah, he didn't really seem to be too... Um, with it. They were married. Oh, okay, so he got his health insurance. That's nice. That booty, I found you, Miss New Booty. Get it together and bring it back to me. Get the place up about a month or two. Put a tab on it, then see what I do. <laughs> I've got a special surprise for your birthday, and I've I've been told you like a big. <laughs> no, I've always wanted to try. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I still can't get over the piano music of the Britney Spears abortion sh song playing in the background. Like this is this is this is just so weird. <laughs> I mean, like, I guess at the time that this was uploaded, it wasn't known that that song was about an abortion. But it, it's just like, <laughs> it's just so much. I did something good. Why do I have two zucchinis in my hand right now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get up. Let's oh, get man. Let's get it. Oh, 
Let's all come eat Joker. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, <laughs> we gotta get Joker in our mouth. Ten years. <laughs> How you doing, boo? I'm doing good, boo. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Block. Ooh. I would not trust Amber Lynn, of all people, with a cell phone with no case on it. Mm. Mm. This gives me anxiety. I'm doing pretty good. Block <laughs> It was. Wait, it was. no, wait, we should have went. Oh, yeah, we should have, but we didn't. She wrote. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> We're gonna go back and watch that again. I just want I don't want you guys to look at Amber in this frame. I want you to look at Becky and her stoic expression lip syncing to this. She wrote. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god. You know how some sometimes y'all will comment like my sleep paralysis demon? <laughs> oh jeez. Should I make this my computer screen background? So I could just like always be on edge. Psycorns, thank you so much for the super chat. Aunt Berlin. Oh my god, Aunt Berlin, that's cute. Royal Rose, thank you for the super chat. Jordy, I'm in Jerome, Arizona, working. It misses you. Oh my god, I would love to go back to Jerome, Arizona. Where do you, well, I don't know if that's appropriate for me to ask, but I mean, there's only like a few businesses in Jerome. Where do you work? <laughs> do you work at the Haunted Hamburger by chance? I see that they're always hiring. I follow them on Facebook. <laughs> oh my god, that's too cool, Royal Rose. Well, she's always watching. I always feel like Amberlynn's watching me. And Crystal has no privacy. <laughs> What's this? Just like 40 seconds of a plastic water bottle? Huh. Okay. Is Amber Lynn Reed doing her makeup with Jade? <laughs> and every time I see you in my dreams, I see your face. You're haunting me. Amberlynn talks breakup without Becky in room. I feel like I've I've covered the breakup extensively with them. I don't feel like we need to do that again. Just it's kind of overdone. It's just a whole lot of gaslighting and victim playing victim. That's that's all that that was. Amberlynn Reed goes for a swim. Oh, that's a lovely thumbnail. There is there is one video of Amberlynn swimming. And then plop. Where she does like a nose dive. And it's like, whoa. I hope it's in this video. Those down. I'm not getting my Nike's wet. What? Reza! What are those? <laughs> Look at my chocolate! They're memory foam. I've never seen those before. Yeah, you got, I got these at like Dollar General for like, I don't know, three bucks. Sue! <laughs> so, 
take a master. No. Yeah, she's anxious. We're about to go try to get, well, I'm gonna try to get in the pool. I'm gonna spray my handy dandy sunscreen on. Do we just like spray this on her face? Put some on your hands. Wait, can you cover my eyes? I'm scared. I won't get what? on your forehead. Oh my god, they're both pale as ghosts because they never leave the apartment. Um, happy 32nd birthday, Renee. Ethan Slater. Do not spray that on your face. Something tells me that they're going to spray it on their face. You know what I need to buy for this summer? It's like those those sunscreens, but it's like a thing of chapstick or like a thing of like glue. Like, uh, where's my glue? This. It comes in a bottle like this, but it's sunscreen and like you do it all over your nose. I need to get one of those. I need to get one of those. This is the one of the inflatable pool that she shames Becky in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Becky, like, stands up a little bit because she thought that when Amber Lynn was, like, taking her picture or something. And Amber Lynn was like, ooh, that's not a good angle. You should go back down. Your Karay, or Karay, thank you so much for the bits. Chickens, my, the lake. Dizamax, thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate that. Yeah, maybe sometime. Okay, but do you like two fingers? <laughs> oh, well. okay, ready? So just no fingers at all. So we went from a whole hand to two fingers to, oh, well, let's just wing it. All right, let's wing it. Why am I... That's why I spray it on my hands and just... Nah. Wait, is it working? Okay, that's, that's ah! too much. Ah! Oh my god. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> she does it the right way, huh? Yeah, I should probably put some on my pasty white arm. <laughs> Immediately wipes it off, yeah. <laughs> And, you know, like, you know what I just noticed? Like, it's it's completely cloudy out, too. I mean, like, I get it. I get it. You know, sometimes you can still get exposure to the sun when you're... But, I mean, just, like... <laughs> there's, like, no sun in this backyard at all. Here we go. Here we go. Is it cold? No. No? Is it warm, like a hot tub? Nice. <laughs> Wait, show me how to get out Because that's my only, like, issue How am I going to get out? How do you get out? Ew, there's a bug You just Yeah, I don't know if I can lift my leg like that I'm going to have to roll out Babe Roll out how would that even work? Like, if she just walked up to the edge here, like, say, like you see where Becky's head is right now? If Amberlynn walked up to the edge here and just kind of, like, put her waist where Becky's head is and then just kind of leaned over and hoped for the best, like, is that how she would get out? Roll out. Well, she, I mean, she would flood the whole yard if she did that. Water would go everywhere. Fat tends to float, so larger people tend to be more buoyant. Yeah, it would it would kind of be like a buoy. She's making fun of Becky, meanwhile she can't get even she can't even get in or out herself. That's kinda of how it went throughout season four. Let's just roast Becky all the time, even though we're like leaps and bounds worse. Are 
Are you calling her big? Big? Wait, where's my little Amberlin sticker? I have it right here. Big? Big? Are you calling me big? No, I'm talking about me. Hey, what's your, what's your swimming attire look like? You don't want me to say that. Oh, Why? Oh, she's not wearing a Tell me, can you see anything? I can. I, I'd go back down. <laughs> Told her to go back no, we'll out. just we'll get demonetized. Ooh, the sun's coming out. Just on her. She's gonna cook like bacon. Okay, I don't know if this is just because we watched the whole Doherty Dozen Water Park thing, but do more people wear shirts and pools than I originally thought? Or is this just a coincidence? I mean, like all the Doherty Dozen kids were wearing shirts, and now we're watching this and they're all wearing shirts. Tsunami. A lot of people do. Well, also, another thing is they're being filmed. So maybe if they weren't being filmed. Maybe it's for YouTube's guidelines. Mm, I don't... I mean, unless, like, a butt crack, like jumped out or something. I, I don't see how this would go against YouTube's guidelines. Misbehaving. Thank you so much for becoming a member for another month. Welcome back. Welcome back. A happy Easter to you too. Party person. Party person. Justin Scott. Hey, how are you? Oh my God. I saw your Instagram story earlier today and it was funny. I forget what it, oh God, what was that? It had something funny. Oh, it was like he has risen or something, but it's like how kids nowadays say like Riz, like charisma, Riz. It's a, like he has risen or something. I don't know. I thought that your I thought your Instagram story was cute. Type in Amberlynn acting like a toddler mega compilation quirky alert. Okay, maybe we'll watch that after. Amberlynn acting like a toddler. Here it is. All right. I have it up. It's a two hour video. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Holy moly. Butt crack jump scare. There have been many a butt crack to uh, pass the screen in the Amberverse. Many a butt crack. A lot of overweight people wear shirts when they are self-conscious. Because I'm a... <laughs> maybe, well, maybe um, Alicia had them wear shirts, too. Because, like, she's always being accused of exploiting the kids. I mean, what she does. But, like, maybe that's, like, where she draws the line. It's like, okay, let me exp let me exploit my kids for literally everything, but... Let me take them to a water park. They're wearing shirts. Uh-uh. Maybe, maybe that's the line. Are you on top chat? No, I'm on live chat. <laughs> the cheekies aren't lit, but... The who? The tiki torches. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the who? Have y'all ever noticed that Tiki Torch lighter fluid smells like absolute shit? Ugh. Tiki Torch lighter fluid smells so bad. We're swimming. This is how you swim in Kentucky. In a pool? We saw for a whirlpool. We were doing whirlpool. Why'd you yeah, guys stop? I got in y'all. You should have seen how I got in. It was so funny. Why'd you stop? I fell. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Getting in and out of the pool was... A funny situation, but I did it. And I feel like I got exercise in there because I would go around in a circle and like I'd actually like move parts of my body like going back and forth and stuff. But majority of the time I just kind of chilled. This must be Bottles outro.
Well, how'd she get out of the pool? Or did they just not show that? You got no riz. No riz. No riz and no drip. It's good. Is it zoom? Oh, there we go. I feel like the volume on this video sucks. Can you guys hear? Seems really tasty. I don't really know. I like can't. I can like barely hear it. Is the volume bad? Oh, I got the Mediterranean. So we're gonna go get that, and I will show you guys when I get it. Here we are. The good old Mickey D's. You guys ask for the truth, and I'm giving it to you. So, it's been okay to say. No, it's not meant to come off insensitive in the slightest. Like, I get it. But let's not talk about that right now. You saw. You like, I'm that scared of medicine. Oh my god, this was the scene where Amber Lynn told us that she was worried that she wasn't getting enough calories. This is when she sat down and had like four pieces of pizza because she, she, was, she was genuinely concerned that she wasn't getting enough calories. Anonymous, thank you so much for gifting a subscription to Nito Burrito. I've seen you've done that a lot now. Holy cow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven subscriptions. I really appreciate whoever you are out there. Thank you so much for gifting subscriptions in the chat. I really appreciate you doing that. Starving girl. Yeah, she was. She was. You know what? I would actually love to watch like the 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 real video of this, like like the full video of Amberlynn eating this pizza because it's she, like her 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 reasoning for this Amberlynn pizza. Where is it? Oh yeah yeah. She's like I don't even like pizza. She's like I hate pizza, but I have to eat because I don't want to starve or whatever. <laughs> So I figured I would film a mukbang video. I'm going to be eating three pretty big slices of pizza. Pepperoni. I'm not really a pepperoni girl, but... Oh, well. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know if I've told you guys yet or not, but I'm on a pill to help me, like curb my appetite or whatever. Ah, uh, she was on Ozempic before it was cool. She's so quirky. She's so quirky. Jordy, have you seen Becky has a new girlfriend? Yes, D Dakota, I believe is the girl's name. Dakota. Mm. Amber Lim could never, could never. Um. It's kind of helping. It's to the point where I kind of have to like force myself to eat right now. I really don't want to eat. Like I don't. But I haven't eaten today at all. And that's not good. Um, I've been awake for... I don't know. Five hours. And... I'm drinking two waters. <laughs> yeah, she has to force herself to eat. Um, that's good, I guess. But I need to get something in my system. Um, in my system, what? In my body. 
<laughs> did, did she really say drinking? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention that closely. Drinking. Oh my god. And the only thing that we really have right now is pizza. My girlfriend's mom's friends came over and brought pizza and they all just actually they all just left. Um they are on uh I always want to call them tractors. I don't know what why. They're on um four wheelers riding around. I'm too scared for that life, so I'm just home alone. Honestly, she probably could have ridden a four-wheeler. I mean, I think that Chantal is more ballsy than Sean, uh, than Amberlynn. But, like, Chantal... Like, what, God, what are those things called? Like, you know that thing that she was riding in the desert? What, what are those things called? Is it called a four-leaf fuel? Oh, here it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here it is. Oh, my God. Yeah, Chantal rode one of these things. Uh, like, can you can y'all like look, look at this? Just like look at this for a second. Like, are are we all looking at the same thing on the screen? Oh my god, he's walking alongside her. So as fast as she moves on a four-wheel, he can walk with her and keep up. God, he looks so different. When was this uploaded? December of 2022. He looks so different. Oh my God. Look how much younger he looks. And just like not tired in the face. He, he has aged like eight, ten years since being with Chantal over the past two Look how young he looks here. Oh my God. This is crazy. You are doing a great job so far. This is back when he thought he was gonna get citizenship. Yeah, he was like, oh, next stop Canada. I'll be there in no time. <laughs> the Spongebob time card, two years later. His robot voice. <laughs> he eats horribly now, probably. I can't imagine that being around Chantal all the time, you wouldn't be enticed to eat takeout and shit all the time. So, yeah, you're probably right about that. Dune buggies are designed to carry three to 600 pounds. Is this a dune buggy? Are four-wheelers and... I thought that a dune buggy was like those things that you ride in. It's like a little car and it could fit two people. Why won't they let him come to Canada? Well... There's like a whole lot of criteria that you have to meet before you can have someone living in another country move to your country. Does he have another wife or girlfriend? Not that we know of, but he could.
Does she ride it anymore? Or is it just him? Okay, let's go back to Amberlynn eating pizza. Um, Juicer name, thank you so much for subscribing with Prime. Happy to have you, Juicer. Wait, Juicer? Is, is, that a, is that like a derogatory term? For like, wait, juicing. What is juicing? Isn't that like people who like take steroids, like they're juicing? Is that is that derogatory or is that just like a term? Steroids. Yeah. I don't know if it's derogatory or maybe it's just. Maybe the way you use it, it could be derogatory. Oh my God, I don't use steroids. <laughs> Juicer name is clearing their name. <laughs> All right, she has to force herself to eat. Um, my mukbangs, which this is what it is I'm eating, um, it's very bittersweet. I really enjoy filming them because I have to eat to survive, whatever. If you guys don't agree with what I eat, cool, whatever. Um, it makes me happy that there are people out there who thoroughly enjoy these because they eat alone at home or whatever. Um, but I don't, it, really it confuses me where people, they'll see me film a mukbang and they'll watch it and they'll be like, why are you eating that? That's so unhealthy. Like, why are you eating that? And it's like, I uploaded one where I was literally eating like carrots and like an apple. See, she takes it as a personal attack. You see a 500 pound person eating pizza and you say, why are you eating pizza? You shouldn't be eating pizza at 500 pounds. To her, that's a personal attack. Oh, you're coming for me. You're making fun of me. No, we're just pointing out the obvious. Pizza looks so dry. <laughs> well, she doesn't even like pizza. She's she's just forcing herself to eat it because she has to eat to survive. Apple and people are like, "That's so unhealthy. You're killing yourself." I was like, "Okay, cool." <laughs> um, I do want you guys to know that I'm the queen of like moderation. I lost 89 pounds before, and um, I was eating whatever I wanted, just less. Um, you guys see me now eating three pieces of pizza and if I didn't talk about what I ate beforehand or what I'm planning on eating like later for whatever snack, I don't even know. You guys would assume that pretty much I eat like this every day, all day when I don't. And I think that's what's frustrating. I'm sorry to like make this video negative. I really don't mean to at all. Um... But, like, lately I've been loving just, like, raw vegetables. Um, cucumber, carrots, uh, sweet peppers. So, like, I'll be eating that later. And I shouldn't have to, like, say that and clarify that. But, you know. Do we think that later this night she went on to eat raw vegetables? Or do we think that she had the other half of the pizza? Or does the whole pizza get consumed in this sitting and then we go on to a second pizza later? Either way, I don't think that raw vegetables are on the menu for later this evening. Poor Destiny's mom living with this. Well, it did not end well, them living with Destiny's mom. Um. A lot of my mukbangs I film for you guys. I am eating unhealthy. But I do not eat like this every day. And I feel like mukbangs that aren't just like super healthy. They're more entertaining to watch. 
don't know. Totally didn't mean to go on the run. She's like, she's like my age in this video. This was seven years ago. Is she 33 or 34 now? I want to say she's 34. So if this was seven years ago, she was 27. I like she's literally my age in this video. Rant for you guys. Why doesn't she get gastric surgery? Oh, Wendy, you must be new here. <laughs> oh my gosh. 33. Okay, all right. Um, the dog is in Indiana. I'm currently in long-term recovery from addiction and trauma. Sadly, Amber Lynn does not show any signs that she's willing to do the intense work that it takes to get healthy. You know, you know, it's it, it's due for me. Do do always do for me. I, I want to take a pill and I want the pill to fix everything. It's it's never putting in the effort. That's that's been a constant with her. Pretty much the only constant. Really appreciate that the dog is in, in, in the dog is in Indiana. I wish you continued success and luck in your recovery. Anonymous, thank you so much for gifting again. Holy moly. I want the pill that makes pizza zero calories. That's like the thing with Ozempic and antidepressants and like all these like other things. Like they're aids, they're supplements. At the end of the day, like it always takes a bit of self-discipline and a little bit of work. No type of pill, no injection, no nothing is going to make you happy, perfect, and on track. Instant reward. She acts like she's 21. Well, she's told us that she feels mentally like she's 17. So. This really is good, though. I thought she didn't like pizza. I I'm being 100% honest right now. Um... If I was not filming this mukbang, I probably wouldn't be eating. I just don't... I don't feel hungry. Like, the pill's really working, I guess. So it's our fault. That's, that's basically what that translates to. I have to film a video. I have to come up with content. So, therefore, I am eating for you all. So Amber Lynn eating eating the pizza that she didn't want to eat is our fault. Today's my second day <laughs> on it. Um, yesterday, I don't know if it worked. I'm being honest because I was only going to take half. And so I took the half and it didn't work. And then so I took the other half and I still didn't feel anything. But I just took the whole today. I think it's working. I don't, I don't like medicine. I don't like pills. Um, That's another thing that kills me about her. You know, an, an entire Pizza Hut pizza down our throat. No questions asked. Everything under the sun that can fit in a brown paper bag will go into this throat. But a little tiny pill? I don't really like medicine. Oh my god. She had to force three pieces down? Yeah. Force. She cohorced herself into eating three pieces of pizza. Mm hmm. Urkaray, thank you so much for the bits. Chickens by the lake. Okay. <laughs> 
Anonymous, holy cow, thank you for the more of the subscriptions. Whoever you are, whoever you are. Doesn't she finish like half the pizza? I mean, how many... Would like one more slice be half of a pizza? So this whole video of her talking about how she's not hungry and is forcing herself to eat and wouldn't be eating this if she wasn't filming. She eats half of it. I just really want to, like, I'm constantly feeling like I'm hungry and I'm tired of that feeling and I don't know how to get it to go away. Like a lot of people say chug water, but it's like I chug water and it's still there and I don't know what to do. And so I decided to just go on a pill. I hate medicine. Like, I think I'm going to film a whole video of like the whole like situation of when I went and like oh my god it was I cried like a baby like I'm that scared of medicine but, um whoops my girlfriend's texting me okay so And the only reason why I'm eating three pieces is because I did not eat all day and I literally feel like I probably won't eat much later. I don't. <laughs> and if I sat here and ate carrots and stuff, I'd get full so fast and probably only eat like 100 calories. What? If she sat there and ate carrots, she would get full after eating 100 calories worth. But three pieces of pizza can go down easy. That's half of a medium. So she eats half of a medium pizza. She, no, sorry, she forces herself to eat half of a medium pizza. Then do it. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, why, why? Okay, well then do it. If you'll get if you'll get full off of a hundred calories worth of baby carrots, go go get them. Don't eat the pizza. But she feels like she has to get calories in her body because she doesn't want to starve. You know what this is reminding me of. my only food now i'm gonna starve here patrick just take half of mine yours you mean mine do you want it or what i don't want it unless you admit you took it this is my candy bar Look. you took my only food now i'm gonna starve Not enough. Mean. So mean. What do you mean mean? How is that mean? I could get or I could get full off of 100 calories worth of carrots. But I want to make sure that my body is getting enough calories in it. So that's why I'm opting to eat 3 pieces of pizza. Honestly, the math checks out. It does. Bo Echo Squalor. Thank you so much for the... Oh, sorry. 
Oh, becoming a member. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the team, Bo Echo Squalor. Thanks for being live on my birthday so I can share with some girly pops, 31 and thriving. Can we get some happy birthdays in the chat for Bo Echo Squalor? A big heart hand to BES. Thanks so much for joining. 100 calories of carrots is a lot of carrots. Yeah, yeah. So maybe that's why she doesn't want to eat all of those carrots. Do you want her to starve, Jordy? No, of course not. I don't want anyone to starve. I wouldn't wish that upon anyone. <laughs> if you guys are still watching, thank you. I told my um girlfriend's mom that I make mukbang videos. And she was supportive. Um... She ended up telling her... Oh, so this is a lie. We now know that this is a lie. So imagine your your daughter's live-in girlfriend who's pushing a quarter of a ton, lives with you, doesn't work, comes to you and says, Hey, I, uh, I make videos of me eating... And uh, I upload them to YouTube. So, Amber Lynn here tells us that the mom was supportive of this. Uh, we learned that this was bullshit because Amber Lynn and Destiny's mom at the time were at each other's throats. I mean, th this is like the, I mean, if your daughter at the time was 21 and it was, it was dated, like your daughter was dating someone in this situation. I mean, th this would be like the worst thing possible that you could wish upon your daughter to have as a partner. And so on top of that, like doesn't work, doesn't help out, doesn't do anything on top of all of that comes to you and says, I make videos for YouTube of me eating. I mean, that that would be like a parent's worst nightmare. She lies so casually. It's like she tells us the opposite of everything. I went and, I went and told Destiny's mom that I filmed myself eating and upload the video to YouTube, and she was supportive of it. That was the exact opposite of what was going on in the background that Destiny later told us. Christy, thanks for the super chat. So happy you're live right now. Can you say hi to my baby Elijah? He loves to watch with me. Hello, Elijah. Thank you for keeping Christy company. Glad to have the both of you. Heart hands for Elijah. Appreciate that, Christy. Hope you're having a happy Easter. I would kick her out of my house so fast. I think that they felt bad for Amber. Like, I mean, as parasitic and toxic of a presence that Amber Lynn is, I feel like once you get yourself into that situation, it's very hard to just be like, okay, well, you can go live on the street. Get the fuck out of my house. I mean, I understand some people are like that and they would do that, but I think that Destiny's mom, like, wanted to keep her in at that point. But I mean, like at 21, like you, you're like still figure, especially as like a gay person, like you are still really figuring yourself out at 21. So, I mean, for destiny to be 21 in her like first or second relationship, trying to navigate all of this. I mean, She probably resented Destiny's family for not treating her like Crystal's family. Mm, that's a good point, Amanda. Yeah, she was thinking, I left behind the good-ass situation, the very comfortable situation that I had living with Crystal to come here. And now you all aren't kissing my feet and wiping my ass. This is bullshit. Crystal's dad would be on his knees kissing my feet, giving me uh, an allowance and wiping my ass. And still I'm here and I have to microwave my own pizza. This is bullshit. 
Uh. Hi, Moss. Hello, Priscilla Pretzley. This is after Crystal's parents' house. Yeah, seasons two and seasons three overlapped. So she moved from Crystal's parents' house to Destiny. Destiny's mom's house. I'd give her two weeks to a month to get some kind of job. Ultimatums force bad behaviors out. I feel like it would be hard to get rid of Amber. Unless unless you were like cutthroat, like get the fuck out of my house. I feel like she, because she's very manipulative and she comes up with excuses. Well, I, I, I tried to get a job, but, 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 but. No, 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 I am soon, I promise. No, I literally have the interview tomorrow. <laughs> like it would always be something. Hi, Nina. She was so mean to Destiny's parents. I know. Literally taking in the only people that will have you. And then being mean to them on top of that. The cat's damn meow. Thank you for the bits again. Appreciate that. Val, thank you so much for the super chat. Happy to catch another stream. I'm happy to catch another Val. <laughs> Her best friend. Um... Um, like how I explained it was like, I'm eating with people who like don't want to eat alone. Like that's honestly how I feel. And so that's how I explained it to my girlfriend's mom. So then my girlfriend's mom explained it to her best friend and her best friend started crying. She's like, oh, people eat alone. Like, wow. She said, if she wasn't like shy. Aw, that's so nice of Amber Lynn to do. So she's eating for us. She's probably thinking to herself, well, if I don't sit down and film myself eating half a pizza and upload it, there will be people out there that will have to eat with no entertainment later. That's sad. Destiny's mom's friend cried when she found out that Amber Lynn filmed videos of herself eating to YouTube. Why do I find that hard to believe? She's a saint. Yeah, I, I, seriously. Philanthropist. Uh-huh. That's another word that came to mind. Yep. Thoughtful. Empath. Yeah, yeah. If she didn't eat this pizza, someone would be bored. She's like a superhero who saves the world by eating. <laughs> Or whatever she'd make them to. <laughs> um. Mm. Is that slice number four? Normally, after I eat something like this, I really want sweets, but I just don't. It's so freaking weird. Like, I don't get it. That pill, though, um, I am having, um, what's the word? Paradox? I think so. Paradox symptoms, where what that means is, um, when a pill is supposed to, or, how do I explain this? Like, I'm so bad at explaining things, I don't understand why, but. When a pill is supposed to give you certain symptoms, like normally, a paradox symptoms is where it does like the opposite. Like the pill I'm on is supposed to like give me some energy. It's supposed to like make me kind of like jittery and want to like do things, but it makes me so tired, like so tired. And that's a paradox symptom. So I looked it up and I was like, why is this making me so tired? And it happens to a lot of people. So it's normal.
You guys are probably like, why is she trying to lose weight eating pizza? Girl, you can lose weight and eat pizza. <laughs> like, if I was any smaller... Yeah, case in point. She's doing the damn thing. If I lose weight, I wouldn't be eating three pieces at once. But three pieces of pizza plus what I plan on eating later fits into my calories. So... I'm trying to drink a lot of water because supposedly the pill is supposed to um, give you dry mouth, but I haven't felt that yet. <laughs> we are always producing more saliva. That's probably why. Paradoxical effects. She was di she was diagnosed with paradox. That's really nice. Or, I mean, yeah, that that's that's really nice that she was able to come up with a diagnosis, being diagnosed with paradox. In addition to her ASMR diagnosis, this was about the this was about around the same time too. She got when she got diagnosed with ASMR. I'm surprised with all of these diagnoses, Amber Lynn did not qualify for disability. Because, I mean, at the time she had um, OCD, ASMR, and Paradox. You would think that in the United States, those three things would qualify her to get a check every month. She was going through a lot. Like, that's weird. My mind wants something sweet and something crunchy right now. But then it's like, the rest of me don't. Like, my stomach doesn't want it. Like, hmm. The rest of me don't. <laughs> Earth freaking quake, though. That's one of my dogs. Oh, yeah, she had OBCD as well. Damn. ASMR, Paradox. OCD and OBCD. She should have, at, at this time... Can you retroactively get disability? Honestly, what Amber Lynn should do is she should file a claim to get retroactive disability. Because, I mean, like, everything that was going on at this time, I mean, like, we're, we're seeing the girl in real time suffer and have to force food down her throat. She is forcing herself to eat so that her body can get enough calories. I mean, this is kind of hard to watch, honestly. I think that taxpayers should be responsible for some type of retroactive disability for what Amberlynn went through all these years ago. You can get retroactive. Okay. Honestly, maybe like next time that she does a Q and a on Instagram or whatever, one of y'all can reach out and like, kind of like, I don't know, let her know this. Yeah. We need a telethon to raise money for Paradox. Another one, my dog is making a weird noise. <laughs> it's like that backward sneeze.
Does she even care about money? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hasn't she tried to get disability? Yes. Um, this was like quite literally like uh, a year or two. I don't mean, I don't know how long she had been with destiny at this point, but we watched the crystal documentary not too long ago. And in the crystal documentary, we learned that Amber Lynn's girlfriend at the time, crystal was getting disability checks for OCD. And Amber Lynn was really jealous of that. She's like, Oh, I want to get free money too. So Amber Lynn was documenting and trying to convince the world that she also had OCD. It's like, well, you know, if this bitch can get money for it, I want money for it too. But it later was discovered, you know, that Amber Lynn actually didn't have it. Oh, you know, so that shocked the world. So Amber Lynn was actually not eligible for disability checks. So, more effort into the YouTube channel went. Takeout's expensive. She loves money. Yeah, at one point she was spending like, what, 20, over $25,000 a year on takeout. KT cleans a lot. Thank you so much for subscribing on Twitch. We're happy to have you. I hope you're cleaning as we speak. Living up to that name. Angie, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Love you as well. Heart hand to you, Angie. Angie, Angie, Angie. Angie's list. Jordy didn't read every single chat, therefore he's a bully. I think you have a point. I think you have a point. I love the crust on pizza. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought you were forcing yourself to eat this. What do you mean? Um, I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. Wait, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> oh, God. Should I make videos like what this? What type of mukbangs do you guys want to see? Someone said McDonald's. So, I don't know if it's up before this one. Like, my sit-down videos, you guys probably don't understand, but my sit-down videos, I upload, like, at a different, like, sequence. All my vlogs are in order, though, so you never have to worry about being confused about what's going on in my life because all those are in order. But I did film a mukbang mcdonald's um yeah a carrot mukbang that'd be cool if she were to do a carrot mukbang though it would probably be served with a gallon of ranch so that might be counterproductive she'd hit that 100 calories pretty quick with a bucket of ranch next door most of your videos are sit down videos yeah what, what does she what does she mean by that you guys won't understand my sit-down videos. She's always seated. <laughs> Unless she's rolling out of a pool, I guess. She's always seated. Baby cakes! Thanks so much for the super chat. Come on, Jordy. She's not a carrot girly pop. I guess not. I guess not. Maybe carrot girly pop could be reserved for another content creator I cover on here. Carrot Girly Pop. Wendy C., thank you so much for becoming a member. Really happy to have you on the team. Thank you so much, Wendy. We're happy to have you. Welcome, welcome. Video, but it was a little different. I wasn't really talking to the camera. I was more so just like showing you guys kind of how it would be. If you were just next to me and like hanging out with... um. My girlfriend and her mom, like, yeah, it's different, but I did film that. 
um, I want to do a salad one really bad. Because the <laughs> like sound of like lettuce crunching, I know a lot of people would enjoy that. Like I know I do. I know that a lot of people out there would enjoy watching a video of me crunching lettuce in my mouth. Honestly, though, a lot of people out there probably would like to see her eat a salad. I would. I'd love to see Everly eat a salad every now and then. Yeah. I mean, not so much the cr- not so much for the crunching noises, but I understand that at this point she was diagnosed with ASMR, so maybe the crunch noises just kind of go along with the condition. Um, some people say they watch my mukbangs because they don't want to eat alone or because they like my voice, which thank you. I never liked my voice before, but I have gotten that compliment so many times and I appreciate that so much. Um, and people watch because they just enjoy the sound of eating. So I, I want to like somehow meet in the middle and make everyone happy. Um, <laughs> but again, I'm sorry this video was... I wouldn't say it was, like, negative, but it was just, like, me, like, kind of expressing myself. I figured it was time for that moment. Um, I just want you guys to know that just because someone makes mukbang videos doesn't mean they're gaining weight, doesn't mean they're not losing weight, because I am losing weight. I'm not gaining weight. A lot of people think I'm gaining weight for some weird reason. I don't know. Why would people think that? I mean, at this point in time, she was sitting around the house all day, not working, eating pizza. I really wonder if the community at this time actually thought that she was gaining weight. I don't get that. Why would people think that at this point? What it is, it's uh, rumors will be rumors, but it, honestly, that's probably what it is, girl. It's just rumors. People are being nasty. Honestly, honestly, they're jealous. They're jealous because at this point she was doing very well. She was on track. She was only eating three pieces of pizza and some raw vegetables later in the day. Uh, jealousy. It had jealousy, rumors, and just pure nastiness. Do not pay the trolls any mind. People thought she was gaining weight during this period. That makes no sense. I am losing weight and I'm super happy about that, but I will continue making mukbangs because... This is my job now, um, not to make mukbangs, but to make YouTube videos. So, in the comments below, let me know, like, what kind of videos you want to see from me and what kind of mukbangs you want to see from me in the future. Um, there will be some more. So, I'll see you then. Bye. <laughs> this is the video that kind of had the weird audio. I don't care! Probably about nine pounds difference so it really helps having someone like there for me for you know stuff like this and we're both we both started Monday it's because we don't eat things like that anymore I don't sit there and eat ice cream like I used to just woke up like 20 minutes ago so I'm looking like a hot mess that's okay this is destiny's phone <laughs> you know we're in a bra I'm about to FaceTime Crystal if you guys don't know who Crystal is Crystal is my ex-girlfriend, also slash best friend, and she sent me my Christmas gifts. So this comes. I'm going. Wow! At that point, she was still living off of Crystal. <gasps> Crystal sent me gift gifts. Oh my! Stop spreading those rumors around. I know. I wish I could go back in time to Hater Nation and back then and just like. I don't know, grab him by the collar and say, quit making shit up about Amber. It's infuriating. It really is. Um, A Burtz 97 thank you so much for the 200 bits. Really appreciate Diet. Thank you so much. Oh, you sent bits in twice. Thank you, A Burtz. Lost Girl, appreciate the super chat. I know as a taxpayer, I know as a taxpayer, I want to work more hours so that I can help Amber Lynn. That's really noble of you. Um, I think that if everyone gave up more of their paycheck to support causes like this, I think we as a society would function better. You know, there's just not enough funding to give checks to people diagnosed with things like paradox, ASMR, OBCD, 
So that's really noble of you to say that because I don't feel like a lot of people would feel the same way. I'm going to just put up random videos like story times, uh, hauls, tags, challenges, mukbangs, what I eat in a day, just random ass shit. Um, I like doing that. It's fun. I also like vlogging. I don't want to get sick of vlogging though because I'm going to be doing vlogmas, I think. So, yeah. Oh my god, people can't even see me right now, but it is time to take off my makeup. I sleep on my makeup a lot and I know I shouldn't, but it's a really bad habit. I, when I do take off my makeup, I use the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes in Night Calming. Um, so, start with my good old eyebrows. I should take off half of my face and then leave the other half. <laughs> Just to show you guys. I really miss cooking. I'm having a lot of people ask me, do you cook anymore? And my answer is no, I don't. I rarely cook. I want to start cooking. That's why I brought, I bought a whole fridge full of food to cook. I even brought, why do I keep saying brought? I even bought shrimp, which I've never cooked before in my whole life. So, all right, we're gonna test this recommendation. If you guys get heartburn, go to Walmart because that's where I found these. I don't know where else they have them, but they're Tums and Chewy Delight. Very cherry. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm vlogging. And they actually really help. I used two at once and it helps a lot. Do you need something? Thank you. <sighs> you amazing. People send you messages and flirt. Oh, they do. And it's weird. <laughs> and it's weird? Yeah. Why don't you They're reply? probably not serious because you know that never really happened in real life anyway, so. <laughs> you know you like it though. No. No? Not from them. <laughs> Why? Because they're not being serious, they're being mean. But if <laughs> So you think people who flirt with you are just being mean? Yes. What? Yeah. I I know they're not serious. I know they're lying. I know they're just trying to get me away from you. That's all it is. Okay, what if they were serious? So I'm taken. <laughs> Silverware that I needed, and what else did we get? She got some cute fucking boxers. Jack the Skeleton. And if you guys are wondering why I'm- My God. This, no. Destiny wearing Jack Skeleton boxers. Ugh, the Eugenia crossover we didn't know that we needed, that we didn't need. <laughs> Tums in candy form. Because my foot, hashtag my foot is actually broken. Thank God I have a day off tomorrow. So let's go. Bags in tow, girlfriend in tow, or she is, and door. Do any of you walk in and out of Walmart down this weird little hallway? I feel like every Walmart has this weird hallway in its entrance. It needs to be open. I look like a fat ape, but that's okay. Thank you. Sweet lips. Gosh, I'm stuck. Oh wait. <laughs> oh my god, this is the Walmart that Amberlynn walked home from the one time. Ours is always locked. So beautiful today. Well, you are. Here's my twirl. Oh. Whoa, Juilliard, watch out. Um, sometimes, like, I think, like, after 9 p.m., they lock the pharmacy entrance so you can only go in through grocery i've also noticed that they've started to do away with a lot of the self-checkout registers i don't know why i thought that was kind of strange when did she walk home when she and destiny first started dating they got in a fight at walmart and destiny left and went home and took a shower because she said that when she gets stressed out she takes showers so Destiny went home, took a shower, left Amberlynn at Walmart, 
Amber Lynn started to walk home, and then Destiny like came back and got her. Do we have evidence that she walked home? Uh, Destiny admitted that she left her there. Isn't that Lush's secret entrance? <laughs> yeah, Alicia Doherty's secret employee entrance. Oh my god. Dad Dude David! Thank you so much. She has pizza docs. <laughs> Not to be confused with paradox. Pizza docs. I like that. Thank you, David. Amy Drury, thank you so much. I had to get Dairy Queen cupcakes today. Thanks, Jordy. <gasps> oh my god, you did? Maybe I'll have another slice tonight. Hmm. I'm telling y'all, those DQ cakes, they're something else. They are something else. I hope you enjoyed them, Amy. Thank you. She marched home. <laughs> Well, the only reason, the only reason that Amber Lynn decided to walk home when she got left at Walmart instead of just waiting in Walmart for Destiny to come back and get her is because then she could be a martyr. She could play victim. You made me walk home from Walmart. That was so rude of you to leave me there. I had to walk home. You know. So therefore, she got to play victim. Whereas if she would have just stayed at Walmart... Destiny would have been like, well, I came back and got you. It's not like, you know, it was a big deal. Like, I came back. But because she walked home, Amberlynn could be like, I walked home. That, that's the only reason. So she could hold that over Destiny's head. Oh, my God. Get real. Hey, sexy. Whatever. That's you. Come Wait, on, ready? Way. My purse. Turn off the light. All right, Wasabi. Mama number one and mama number two. We'll see you later. You think it, I don't like it. I think I've just noticed that like YouTube really takes away joy. It's like the act, it's so weird. It's like the act of YouTube and the outcome of me uploading a video are two different things. I love filming, editing. I love editing. I love uploading. I love editing for her is just putting videos from her cell phone into iMovie and then cropping a few seconds off of the end of each video and then rendering the video into one large video. That That's editing to her. I love editing. Wasabi has had a lot of mamas. Yeah, she has. And she's about to get introduced to a new one, apparently. If Amber walked home, I'm president. <laughs> That's cute. Cat C, thank you so much. I quit alcohol for a month and I'm embarking on a moderate daily exercise program. Cleaned my oven and many more things. You got to start somewhere, Kat. That's incredible. I wish you continued success. Thanks so much for sharing that. Happy Easter to you, Kat. It takes her a long time to, to poop and edit her videos. Yeah, Amberlynn can take a shit and work simultaneously. That's pretty talented. What is she wearing? She's wearing like a tank top with a green undershirt the whole process of the filming the editing and all of that but the minute my video hits the big screen that's that's where the joy is just taken from me because people are so horribly harsh lately and it's just been a lot we are sitting at walmart because we are having so much trouble with our bank it's not even funny we were trying to buy some stuff. Oh my god. Is this the night that they tried to buy the laptop? They were at Walmart. Like, honestly. this They would always go in the middle of the night, too. The night that they tried to buy the laptop, they were there for, like, four hours. They were there till, like, 5 a.m. And 
The total was like nine something, like 900 and something. Ooh, some of you are so great. And it says, oh, your card can't work. Girl, we have the money. Hold on, dude. I was like, I was like, we have the money. Like it was so embarrassing. Cause it's like people thought we didn't have the money and I'm like, girl, we have the money. So um, we had to call the people and it's because the system's down and we're always having trouble <laughs> Are you walking? Yeah. <laughs> Are you See, walking, Jerry? Not yet. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, <laughs> that fast boy. Wait, that's crazy. Ah. Uh, I don't want to hit that thing. Okay, we'll go over here. Temperature one. What the weather has been. It has only the time, even though I never go there anymore. Like, it's like twilight zone to me if I ever go there. I probably go there maybe once every three months, not even joking. And it's weird because I used to go every single day. So I decided that I am going to buy whatever I want, no matter what it is, how much it is, I'm just gonna buy it. So I went, I did, I saw, and I conquered. Um, something I noticed, Today of all days, girls are starting to wear like these shirts as dresses, and it don't look good. I've seen it. <laughs> no, her coming for other girls wearing shirts as dresses. <gasps> oh my god, that's been Amberlynn's thing forever. No. Aw, oh, thanks for stopping in and saying hi, Mosaic. Hello. Goral graphs are funny. <laughs> the system goes down where I live. I think it's because she tried buying like a $900 laptop at four in the morning. You know, like most people don't do that. So if your bank sees that you're trying to charge a big purchase to your card at four in the morning. It's probably like, we're not going to let this go through. Little Rex, thanks for the bits. Juniper dear. Thank you for the bits. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Huh? They call them baby doll dresses. I understand that, but it, it, it don't look that great. It looks really weird. Like something is missing. And especially this one girl in the Cheesecake Factory, like, literally we almost saw her butt. Like, her butt was almost showing. And it's like, girl, wear what you want, what you love. But it's like, sometimes I don't understand certain trends. I was like, what is this? It literally looks like they're wearing their boyfriend's t-shirt and <laughs> there's nothing on underneath and they're out in public. And it's weird. And Get out of Twinkie. I'm drinking out of Twinkie. I'm drinking out of Twinkie. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Diff a big cherry. <laughs> <laughs> big, big. Ah, oh. ah, oh. my sticker. Big, big. You call me big. Are you calling me big? No, I'll talk about me. Everybody's like, oh, no, what's good for me? That's my opinion. I am always putting myself in his shoes, and my therapist is like, yeah, you're an empath. What? What the fuck? For sure. I started LOLing. I was like, yeah, I'm so quirky. Yeah, I'm so quirky. Oh. The narco lurk had a heart attack. How some sympathy. Sorry. Oh. This is what this got Amber a lot of shit. A lot of people gave her shit for this. Which they should have. You know, that's not a very nice thing to say. Someone has a heart attack and you say, I don't give a shit. I'm trying to find my sympathy bone. Yeah, no. This this wasn't cute for girly pop. All right, I'm trying to find my sympathy bone. My sympathy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't care. Proper <laughs> grammar, no matter what I'm doing, whether I'm writing a note to somebody or whether. What was on her nose? She was dressed up as a. Uh... What's this thing called? Sully. She was dressed up. This was on Halloween, so she was dressed up as um, 
Mike Wazowski. No, 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 that's the green thing. Is this Sully? Yeah, this is, she was dressed up as Sully for Halloween. So, like, that's that's just, like, I guess what he looks like in the movie. to fill out a worksheet every single week right before the appointment and my scores have already lowered so therapy works children do it um i wish obviously i wish i would have done it sooner but and i give money to the homeless every time i've ever played bingo for money i have won each and every single time things lipstick fixed my frizz and yeah I want you guys to know that I'm not, like, someone sent me this on Twitter. It's like people, every time I, like, look in the viewfinder, people think I'm vain for it. It's really because I'm trying to, like, get used to this and see if I'm in focus and it's weird to see myself. There's a Becky creeping in the back. So, I'm not vain person. Like, I don't, I think I'm ugly. So, it's like, I literally think I'm an ugly person. So, you can't be vain if you think you're ugly. This became a little too sad rather quickly. Come on, motherfuckers, come on. Come on, Ooh, girl, I like it. That thing's huge. Looks like a hula hoop. That's way too big. Does Amberlynn still use TikTok? I don't even know if I follow her on there. She might have me blocked. I think she just has me blocked on Instagram, though. Amberlynn. Oh, no, here it is. Wait. Does she still upload? It's just her lip syncing. It's pretty much all that happens on there. Hi, Becca's boyfriend. Mm. This is for Rachel. I think that that's that video where someone leaves uh, a really nasty voicemail. Like, and it's it went viral for being funny. Mary, thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate that, Mary. The song Video Killed the Radio Star by the Buggles makes me think of you every time when I listen to it in my car. Oh, especially when I listen to you in my car. The video... Killed the radio star by the Buggles. I have never heard of that. I believe that you made another reference in the past, Mary, that I didn't get. <laughs> so I think we've gone two for two now. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mary. Um, I think that we are going to call it here. It is 1030. That's a good stopping time. Uh, appreciate everybody. We will be back tomorrow. I believe that we'll be doing d does tomorrow. So we have some water park and probably a grocery haul to get through tomorrow. So I will see everyone tomorrow. Uh, it is April 1st tomorrow. So be on guard, y'all. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. Uh, but we are going to stop here. Really appreciate all the bit senders, all the super chatters, all of the subscription renewers, all of the first time members, and all of the chat participators. And... All of the viewers who don't talk. <laughs> I really appreciate all of you. A big, big heart hand for everybody. We're going to end it here. Hope everyone has a good rest of their Easter. I hope it was hoppy. I really do hope it was hoppy. All right, y'all. Until we meet again.